Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So, unfortunately, it's been a little more than two weeks since my last upload. And yet, I did not expect that my first upload since my more or less of a vacation, I will be talking about downsizing that's going on within Bungie. And on top of that, there's some good news, but unfortunately, there is, well, a lot of bad news included. So Bungie has written the statement on their official site. This info is coming from Pete Parsons and he mentions quite a lot of interesting tidbits of information. What could be happening in the future, some of the changes within Bungie and of course the talk rega uh, regarding of the layoffs. So I will not be talking and you know reading through the whole statement. Instead I've taken some of the interesting bullet points and I want to go through that. So, as mentioned, Bungie is laying off a lot of employees. In total, there's going to be 220 employees, and that's equivalent roughly of 17% of its workforce that has been laid off. Now, there's also interesting information that there's just going to be some sort of a plans to form a new PlayStation Studio to proceed with one of their incubation projects. And they go by the describing it, such as a new action game set in a science fantasy universe. Genuinely makes it interesting to see what they got in store for that. Now, in addition to that, of course, the 220 layoffs, 155 employees will be moving over to SIE. Now, this extra information was mentioned from Jason Schreier, and he mentions that around 75 employees will break off completely and actually will form a new PlayStation Studio. So, kind of interesting, because this means, well, it might be a little bit more serious in terms of the breaking off from Bungie situation. Nevertheless, there is still going to be about 850 people continuing work on Destiny 2 and, of course, Marathon. It looks like that Bungie is losing about a third of its workforce, and that's quite insane. Even though Bungie wanted, and they mentioned it straight up in statement, that they wanted to have multiple projects and works that's excluding Destiny, and I'm talking about like Destiny, Marathon, and maybe, and maybe something else, and of course they quickly realized that amount of effort, time, and you know manpower that they will need it just doesn't exactly work that way and unfortunately it would not be possible. They noticed it and they kind of had to scale back down on that. Now they did a lot of mass hiring because of the situation with Corona anyway. There's a lot of problems happening within everywhere, all over the world in terms of layoffs and just some sort of, as they say, restructuring. It really is unfortunate news, but yet again, I want to say one thing. I completely agree that with the layoffs and the way that employees are finding out about this situation that they've been laid off, laid off basically is very, very appalling. It's very, very bad. And I mean, really, I hope that they will get back on their feet and maybe even find a different studio that they can trust and work for. And perhaps maybe they will find different uh, careers. So perhaps if they want different jobs or perhaps different challenges. Now, it really depends on the employees and how they're going to go about it. It really is unfortunate, though. But let's get into the positive side of this, meaning that Bungie is not exactly going away. Even though they have integrated closer with PlayStation, it doesn't necessarily mean that's just all bad news. I really don't see this as bad, completely bad news, other than, of course, the layoffs of the employees. I think that they could have held on to them and let them be a part of the PlayStation Studios, or transition them over to the new PlayStation Studio and they could be making something else entirely. Nevertheless, I still think that another good positive news in here that there will be some games to be looking forward to. Granted, we cannot say that it will be happening in one to two to three years. I don't believe so. I think there still needs to be a lot of time and effort implemented in the, into these new studio that when they'll be making this brand new game, this action game set in science fantasy universe. And as such, it kind of makes it more appealing and more intriguing to see what the kind of direction will they choose to go for, especially since now they're done working with Destiny 2. Even though Destiny 2 The Final Shape expansion has met the expectations, I still don't think it was enough, at least what the quantity of how big Bungie is. And also because of just so much of no interest within these 
episodes of the seasonal content that Destiny 2 is going to receive, it kind of paints a little bit of a bleak picture, especially with the Frontiers expansion will be coming out for Destiny 2 in 2025. Not a lot of people are looking forward to on other than of course the hardcore players and fans of Destiny 2. Final ship was that endgame. We do not know what's going to happen next other than Frontiers, and people are just not looking forward to it. Well, not every single person out there is going to say this. Now, regarding Marathon, now we do know it's coming. We do not know when exactly though, but there are some concerns. A lot of people are, do not like what they're here regarding Marathon, that is yet another sort of a looter shooter. It's a battle royale game. It's a hero shooter. It's just we do not know what exactly is it. And there has been some rumors or speculations at least that there's been some change or some sort of a shift within marathon development and it is very concerning. Nevertheless, I do hope for the best within Bungie and I do hope that they will be able to turn things around for Destiny 2, for Marathon and of course their upcoming game included. Other than that, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a chat relating to Bungie and PlayStation. I want to be honest, I think I'm looking forward to the changes, but again, it really does suck relating to the employees getting laid off like this. Alright, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day, and before I go, perhaps I should have mentioned in the beginning, I apologize. I will be back up front just seriously uploading like almost daily to maybe every other second day or third day and as long as there's interesting conversation to have and interesting topics to mention and maybe some inspirations that I'll have as well, do expect a lot of my content to be brought back into my YouTube channel. Alright, I'll see you guys.